is come into effect with a wide range of implications for both individuals and businesses. Now, among the tax measures that came into effect this year was a turnover tax that will impact on all businesses with an annual turnover below 5 million shillings. The tax will see all businesses, including kiosks, subjected to a tax of 3%. So our reporter Noah Kipkemboy spoke to KRA's Deputy Commissioner in charge of policy, that is Maurice Oray. Take a look. Well, a very good afternoon to you, Malika. 2020, one of the biggest concerns amongst Kenyans is taxes. How much am I going to pay for taxes? A lot of debate concerning the turnover tax, 3% targeting the informal sector. Apart from that, an array of taxes have come into effect, and we need to clarify that. That's why I'm joined by Maurice Oreo, who is a deputy commissioner right here at the Kenya Revenue Authority, to help us clarify some of this issue. And Mr. Oreo, the first question that I will ask you is about, you know, the misconceptions that we've been having, that 2020 you're expecting a lot of taxes. Just clarify for us. Uh, what taxes are coming into effect as from January 2020? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the tax that is coming into effect in January uh, is uh, largely the taxation of the informal sector. Most of the amendments that were uh, contained in the Finance Act 2019 actually took effect on the day of uh, the ascent. That was 7th September 2019. Yes. Okay. So that included a number of, uh, you know, taxes in, like IDF. We saw the railway development levy also coming into effect. Uh, initially, uh, biggest concern also was surrounding the e-commerce sector and, uh, you know, people running businesses, online communities. So far, what is the progress in regards to taxing these spaces? Thank, thank you very much. Uh, the taxation of the digital economy, as we call it, we, what was provided in the Finance Act 2019 was a clarification that whichever form of, uh, of platform that they are using to carry out business, including the digital uh, 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 transactions, they fall within the tax net. And uh, this was uh, actually a clarification. It didn't introduce any new taxes. Yes. So it was a clarification just showing that we have to make sure that all of us are included in the tax bracket. Uh, now, uh, 2020 is here. Uh, we are having uh, some of this, uh, you, as you mentioned earlier, that they were taking effect, some of these taxes that are taking effect at the day of ascension. Um, so far, in regards to CARE achieving its revenue targets, uh, for the past financial years, that has been going a little bit not not so as expected, not 100%. In the 2018 2019 financial year, we had a, a deficit of missing the target by almost 100 million shillings. So far, for the financial year 2019 2020, how's the progress? Uh, let me say that with the structures that have put in place and the systems, we are confident that, uh, that the year 2020 2020, uh, 20, we are going to meet or even surpass the target because we have got well-structured way of operation and we are in a position to manage compliance issues mm -hmm. based on the systems that we put in place that will smoke out those non-compliant sectors of the economy. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons that we have put uh, the, uh, the informal sector taxation into focus mm -hmm. is the fact that largely uh, the, the sector has remained non-compliant mm -hmm. not because the, it is their want but because the tax system probably didn't favor them. So what we have done in the Finance Act 2019 is to provide further clarity and to ensure the system of taxation of this sector is well simplified and enabling to those players within the sector. Definitely. And uh, as taxpayers, uh, 2020 seems to be a year of focus on the informal sector. One of the issues we saw in 2019, the big news was, you know, getting away with the red cap. And, uh, you know, from, from the KRA perspective, this means that uh, more informal sector, you know, businesses will be able to access credit. Uh, what do you foresee for 2020? I would say that the, the future looks bright for this uh, financial year. 
in terms of the issues of uh, the enabling environment that has been created mm -hmm. by the amendments that came through the Finance Act. You have mentioned the issue of the interest rate cap mm -hmm. and also the enabling provision for taxes that have been put in place. We have actually ensured that the key sectors of the economy have been empowered by giving uh, well-targeted incentives, particularly in line with the big four agenda. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. Thank you very much, sir, for that clarification. And of course, closing up, uh, there's always the question of why. Why the taxes? We understand it's our civil duty to, you know, remit taxes to the government. But, uh, for example, the TOT, using that as, a, as an example because it's a target this year, why turnover taxes uh, for, for this particular segment that you're focusing? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to say that for an economy to grow effectively, there must be a provision that enables each and every citizen the, to pay their fair share of taxes. Uh, we have run an economy whereby the taxpayer, the taxpaying public is skewed towards the big and the people in the formal uh, sector. But we want to realign this to ensure that uh, every Kenyan who has income is able to pay their fair share of taxes to reduce not only the tax burden being focused on a specific uh, people, but also to ensure that we review our, the way our taxes and the rates are structured. Mm -hmm. We believe that with uh, this law, we should be able to succeed and even look at the rates that we have imposed on some of our tax rates. Mm -hmm. But uh, the success of this will depend on the will of Kenyans, mm -hmm. who I believe desire to have uh, proper for social infrastructure and the amenities that will enable them to live comfortably and in a, civ a more civilized way. All right. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. So, there you have it. It's about the why. Why do you pay taxes? It's channeling back money to the government so that we can have a pro proper, you know, operation environment for businesses and also for growth as a society because this money goes back to that particular issue. So 2020, the target for KRA, especially the informal sector, bringing them on board to make sure they are also given their fair share to the fact that this particular money comes and develops infrastructure and hopefully in the process also build, building and boosting businesses on the ground. Well, over to you, Malika. Thank you very much, Noah. Noah Kipkimboy there. Um, getting into the conversation on the new taxes and of course